Welcome to the Game Ramble video review for Planet of Lana, narrated by me, Dark Cloud. As always, the full text version of this review can be found on the Game Ramble website linked below. The TLDR for Planet of Lana is that it's a cinematic puzzle adventure where players must help a young girl find and save her sister from the alien robots that have invaded. The only real challenge in the game comes from the puzzles, but it also features some platforming and stealth sections. Planet of Lana is a beautiful looking game, but the gameplay can feel slightly shallow compared to similar titles. While Lana herself is not a particularly memorable protagonist, it's hard not to love her little alien cat companion Mui, who is an invaluable asset during her quest. Gameplay receives in 7 out of 10. Planet of Lana is very short and the platforming as well as puzzles are not too taxing. Graphics receives an 8 out of 10. The game's visual style is superb and a big reason to keep playing is to see where the adventure will take Lana next. Sound receives a 9 out of 10. The soundtrack is excellent and while the voice acting is sparse, it perfectly conveys the emotions Lana is experiencing. The overall score for Planet of Lana is 8 out of 10. And now for the full review. Planet of Lana opens with two siblings making their way through an idyllic fishing village. Players take control of Lana as she chases after her older sister Elo while learning the basics of the controls in the process. As the two leave the village behind, it becomes clear that their world is one where everything appears to be in balance. Unfortunately, this balance is quickly disturbed by the arrival of some War of the Worlds style alien invaders. Lana manages to evade capture, but Elo is rapidly hauled off along with the rest of the village. This leaves Lana all alone to set off in pursuit. Planet of Lana features companion based gameplay, which kicks in as soon as Lana encounters an adorable critter she names Mui. To us, Mui looks like some kind of cat like creature with a spiral tail, stubbly little legs, and a blob shaped body. Mui is worth its weight in gold though as players can instruct it to assist with many of the puzzles in the game. Planet of Lana features a combination of platforming and puzzle solving, but the balance definitely skews towards the latter. Lana is still a teen, so she's not particularly fast or strong. This means that running into any hostile creatures or robots requires quick thinking or stealth to survive, instead of direct confrontations. Despite the science fiction setting, Planet of Lana is a lush looking game with beautiful levels. It is a linear adventure, so players mostly make their way from left to right through various biomes. The adventure begins in Lana's village, but she soon ventures through forests, caves, fields, deserts and a few more exotic destinations. These locations are all beautifully designed and the game features an eye-catching painted look. Although the game is in 2D, the camera occasionally zooms in or out to give it a more cinematic look. Good use of foreground and background details also provides the game with a nice feeling of depth. In addition, the animations are smooth and Lana as well as her friends and foes look great. Since Lana has no inventory or life bar, the entire screen is devoted to the beautiful graphics. The visuals are undoubtedly the game's highlight, but Planet of Lana does not disappoint when it comes to sound either. The game features an orchestral soundtrack by Takeshi Furukawa of The Last Guardian fame, which fits the action perfectly. The music kicks into gear whenever something action-packed or emotional happens, and retreats into the background when players are confronted with puzzles or stealth. Although there is some voice acting, Lana speaks in a made-up language, so her words are never translated. This adds to the mysterious and otherworldly feel of the game, and her emotions are perfectly conveyed, which is all that is needed. As mentioned earlier, Lana is not particularly fast or agile, so encounters with any hostile enemies will result in death if players are not careful. Fortunately, the game is rather generous with its checkpoints, so there's really a risk of losing a lot of progress. The game also lacks boss encounters and instead opts for sections where players must slow down and solve puzzles before proceeding. The game can be played with a keyboard, but I recommend using a decent controller, as with all puzzle platformers. Lana can jump and crouch as well as climb up ledges and swim. She can also push or pull certain objects, which some of the puzzles require. Wherever enemies are found, there is also usually some long grass where Lana can crouch to remain hidden from them. For some of these sections, Mui can be used as a distraction while Lana sneaks about, but if the little critter is killed, it's back to the last checkpoint. Players can instruct Mui to follow them or stay put, but they can't leave it behind for too long or it will get killed. Later on, Lana discovers that Mui has some more useful powers that can be used, but unfortunately it can't swim, so traversing water requires some puzzle solving. The game does have some quick time events, but thankfully these can be turned off if players wish. Jumping can feel a little stiff as Lana can't change direction mid-air, but the platforming is relatively easy and shouldn't tax players too much. Overall, it's hard not to be charmed by Planet of Lana thanks to the beautiful visuals, great character designs and incredible soundtrack. Unfortunately, the game is relatively short and somewhat on the easy side. At least the game isn't needlessly padded out with backtracking, but players expecting a ton of secrets and unlockable abilities won't find it here. The game is short and to the point, with a few heart-wrenching moments along the way. 
None of the puzzles are particularly innovative, but neither does the game do anything seriously wrong. At the end of the day, Planet of Llama is not as memorable as some of the genre's classics, but it's an impressive debut for the developer and an enjoyable experience while it lasts. Thanks for joining me for this Planet of Llama PC review. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time.